big sister. She loves it. But hi, yeah, that's it. Not too close. Aurora loves it. Good morning, little sweeter. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, baby, baby, baby. You have to be careful. Not too close, Mila. She won't like it if it's too close. We have to do it gentle. Can you do it gentle? You've got bacon sandwich all over your face. Oh. <laughs> Mila's not embarrassed, James. <laughs> careful. When we set off here a week ago, oh my gosh, babe, it was a week ago today. Oh, it's so scary, man, isn't it? It's so scary. How's it gone? Oh, it's gone in a blink. Literally when we set blink off ago, now. guys, a week ago today, I made a comment, a flippant comment, about how I'd taken that many pairs of pajamas away with me. I could wear a new pair every day, and that's what I might do. I wasn't actually being serious when I said that comment, but it just so turns out that that's what's happened. Have I been dressed since the day we arrived? Because I don't believe I have. What, darling? We go ride. We go a ride? Yeah. Where? Over there. Over there? It's been the best week of my whole existence. In fact, this whole year has just been, we were thinking about it last, we were all talking about it last night. We didn't vlog yesterday, but we were all talking about it yesterday. Like, how has this year gone by? It seems like two minutes ago that we were preparing for Scandinavia. And that was almost a whole year ago. It's actually insane to think about. But it was such a lovely day yesterday. We spent the whole day in the hot tub, playing games. What else did we do yesterday? We watched Pirates of the Caribbean. Which we're continuing today. It's our last full day today. We're leaving tomorrow. What do you say, little angel? Not too close to her face, sweetheart. That's it, good girl. <laughs> I'm not joking, Mila. I, th I don't know if I like got Mila presents too old for her age. I'm watching because she's obsessed with everything Aurora got. What? Come on then. Oh, okay, Isabel just said it's in a video, so I won't disturb her just yet. But yeah, Mila just is obsessed with everything Aurora got. I don't, and, I, and everything that Aurora got is too young for, too old for Aura to use right now. So it's kind of worked out well. Mila gets to play with them and then they'll be passed down to Aurora. But um, Jace has got a game out. Well, it's not a game actually, it's a, like a mystery. Like, go Mila, no Mila, you can't snatch it off Jace. That's Jace's. Good girl. Um, you can play too, but we just can't snatch it off him, okay? Okay, what do you want to do? I want to play this game. You want to play this game? Um, guys, I'm going to show you some of the um, games that the children got for Christmas this year that have just been a massive, massive hit. Mimi? Remember? You don't do that. There we go. Mimi? <laughs> you figure out your nose, you little monkey. Right. Uh, yeah, because some, some of the games have just been a massive, massive hit, so I'll definitely do a recommendations. Because some things that I didn't think would be so popular, they've just not put down. And then other things that I thought would be mega, they had a great reaction to and loved initially, but they've not played with so much. But it has only been like a few days since Christmas. So anyway, we're going to open some mystery eggs now and see what's inside them. I want to do a purple egg. Okay. You sound like Esme. <laughs> look, look at my dog. You don't have dogs. There are dogs inside there. You've got a tight song. What, darling? I want this one. These are Jason. Want... Sit back then. Sit back and I'll put them on your lap. Because there's lots of shiny eggs there. Ooh. I want to this one. They have to work. Oh, they look like they've got plastic on. Let me see. Don't put it in your mouth. Oh, which one's got plastic on? I'll open it for you. Okay, yours is done. The plastic's off. So listen, let me tell you how to open it. Be patient. If you squeeze it there, where the, where the slice is, it will open. Squeeze it on the slice. See? What did you get? Oh, what's that? Some grapes? 
Some little grapes. Right, Mila, let me take plastic off yours. Oh my god. Okay, squeeze it. Squeeze it. That's it. What did you get? A flower! Wow, do you want to put some more? See what's in all of them. Can I help you? Oh my goodness, they both just found slime in their eggs. What is it? What is it, Mila? You don't know? No, it is. It's slime. It's slime. I think you're going to get slime in some of them, and I think you can add these gems to the slime. <laughs> I think that's what it's for. Should we open them all? Yeah. What colour are you doing, Mila? I want the green one. The green one? Yeah. Okay, we've officially decided that we're moving here because we're not going home anymore. Oh, we don't want to go home. So we said we're going to move our house and everything up to here. We'll open up on the back of our house. Yeah, when we sell our house, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna move up here. We're not right. selling our house. Uh, eventually. Maybe. 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 Yeah, we're moving up here anyway at some point. Anyway, um, so right now we're about to watch episode two of Pirates of the Caribbean. You guys have probably watched, everyone watching this video has probably seen all these before, but we've never seen any of them. There's loads of comments so. on my Instagram stories. There's loads of comments on my Instagram saying, oh my gosh, I've watched this one today. It's not episode two, by the way, it's movie two. Movie two, yeah, sorry. Uh, everyone's commenting saying, oh, I've watched this, I've watched it at Christmas. We've never sat down and properly watched it. Never. So, but we're like proper Disney scammers. We love the Pirates of the Caribbean ride so much. And every year we're like, oh, well, at Christmas we're going to watch all the movies all together. And we never do it. So, but this year we are going to do it all. How much of a scam is, well, not scam, but how much of a joke is this? So, i just show you a box. So I've got all of these for Christmas. Well, I got these Rainbow High puzzles for Christmas. So, yeah. we've like 248 ones, all different types of ones. It's 10 different puzzles. And this is a bag that came in. Every single piece in the same bag. Oh, no, you're joking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Is there a colour assigned so I have to sort them into this box? That's so annoying. It's so annoying. Actually do it. It's just to sort all ten into the right oh. into this. And there's like two, like 48 ones and like 30 ones. Like I got to sort them all out. That's just rubbish, Al. Sorry, mate. <laughs> That's not good. It's so annoying. And what are you two doing over here? Why is, what is your mouth full of? Why are you always trying to steal Crave? Why are you always trying to steal it as well? Eh? Hey? You little Teds. Mm -hmm. You're always trying to steal the cereal out of the cupboard. Why? This is what they keep going for, right? They keep going to the cupboard and stealing this box of Crave. They try and do it at home all the time. They're like, they're obsessed with Crave Me. cereal. No, it's not yours, little woman. Why? No, it's not yours, little man. Me. It's Dada's. I'm taking it back right now. This is how I've been looking every single day that we've been here. Yeah, pretty much. It smells like walking around <laughs> with a quilt all day, every day. It's not cold in here, by the way. It's like 50 degrees in here. Know, at least. It's nice and snuggly and warm. <laughs> but Isabel's cold in like Mexico, so. <laughs> oh, is it cold in Mexico? She's always cold. She's cold in the back. Yeah, she's, she's always cold. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, the weather is frightful outside. So no. we are. Yeah, it was, it was good. That whole thing, so without further ado. Yeah. The weather. Well, when the weather is frightful, uh, we're going to put parts of the Caribbean on. vlog today hasn't it been a bit of a random one but it's been such a lovely last day we haven't really done a lot me and chris just had a really nice 20 minutes or so in the hot tub with jace and mila i would say the girls watched aurora but she laid on a play mat playing the whole time so they didn't actually have to do anything obviously they were in the room with her though but it's really nice. We've just ordered a takeaway for our last night. So me and the girls have just been packing away all of their Christmas presents from their rooms, all of their stockings and stocking fillers. I did actually film a stocking filler haul. It was partly a stocking filler haul, partly just a few gifts that I'd got recently from Timu. I did an order on there, my first ever order. And I did a haul that I filmed and I haven't included in a vlog yet. And I know so many of you guys enjoy watching hauls, so I'm going to insert that here. Hope you all enjoy it. So my packages have arrived and I am so blooming excited to open them and see what's inside. I did open the top of this package and the first thing that fell out, which I am so excited about, 
is this massive giant water cup, water cup, flask, drinks cup. Look at the size of this absolute bad boy. Oh my goodness. I drink a lot of water and I am constantly going back to the fridge to top it up. So I'm very excited. I won't have to do as many trips with one this big. Hopefully in this haul I'll be able to give you guys some nice stocking filler ideas. If you're still looking for Christmas gifts, then you'll hopefully find a few things in this haul that you like the look of. Maybe for yourself, maybe for a loved one, a friend. Who knows, there's quite a variety of things here that would be suitable for a huge variety of ages. So hopefully you find something that you like. I will say that the Timu website was easy to use. I made sure I looked at the description of every product so I knew exactly what I was ordering what the size were, etc., and things like that. And everything did arrive really quickly. It arrived in like five days, which is a lot quicker than some other packages that I've ordered this festive season. Right, let's get out a few more bits. Oh my gosh, I actually forgot I'd ordered these. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. Teddy bear pajamas. Oh! I'm obsessed with anything teddy bear at the minute. Look how cute they are. I might actually have to take those away with me because we are currently just about to leave for a little winter trip. And those are the bottoms. So cute. They look a really good size. They feel really soft. And they look stretchy and good. So when I did my order, I did have stocking fillers in mind for Jace and all of the girls as well. And I saw some of these really cute leg warmers and I think they will go down really well with Isabel. Isabel does like herself some leg warmers, so I think I'll pop those in her stocking. I saw some really cute cars on there, loads of different ones, and they were literally like a pound each. Some of them two pound, but mainly like a couple of pound each and I thought they'd make really nice stocking fillers for Jace. These are two monster truck ones and I got one in green and one in purple. I think he'll absolutely love those. I also love the idea of this little bag. It comes with six trucks inside. I know that Esme also did an order and she ordered a couple of packs of these because there are a few different varieties but I thought they'd make such a cute stocking filler. Jace and Mila love playing with trucks and cars and trains and monster trucks and all sorts of things together so I know they will both really like this vehicle set as well. I just noticed I did also get the leg warmers in this cream colour as well as the grey and black ones. Another thing that I ordered that I thought the girls would really like is some socks. So socks are super cheap on there, they're like a couple of pounds and you can get so many different ones. So I got these trainer socks. That are so, so cute. I love the designs and I love the colors of them as well. So they're like a beige color and it's a pack of five, I believe. And then I also got some fluffy ones. These are in a packet, so I'll have to open them to show you guys. No, these are not socks. I did order some fluffy socks. They must be somewhere else. These are actually bobbles. <laughs> so I ordered this pack of bobbles. These were only like, again, a couple of pounds. And you get like, you get a big pack of all sorts of different ones. And they're all in neutral colours. So I'm not sure which of the girls I'll give those to because they all like bobbles. But I'm sure whoever gets those will really like them. I also stocked up on some regular black bobbles because... Obviously, we are a family of a lot of girls, and even our little boy Jace has long hair, so we go through lots of bobbles, and these are super nice bobbles. You're probably thinking, a bobble's a bobble. If you've got long hair, you know a bobble's not a bobble. You've got to get the right one, and these ones are really nice. They're super soft, super stretchy, and this, again, was only a pound or so, and this is a pack of 50, so I'm going to pick and take those away with us as well. Speaking of bobbles and hair, I got a few hairbrushes because Dita, I think hairbrush, my children always get hairbrush in their Christmas stocking every single year and it's like one of those things that's like, it's kind of a tradition to get hairbrush in your Christmas stocking. When I was little it was a tradition to get colours in a colouring book um, and for some reason we've just stuck with hairbrushes 
every single year they seem to get a stocking, um, a hairbrush in their stocking. And these detangle ones are really good. And obviously on Timu they were only a pound or two, so I thought I'd stock up. I did actually order a few of these. I also got a few electrical type things that look quite boring but will actually be really useful. So I got this USB cable and as you can imagine as a busy family of eight obviously the younger ones don't have electronics but we go through so many plug sockets basically and I thought this would be super handy not just at home but also when we travel as you can see it's got little switches for each one a light to tell you whether it's on or off and then obviously the USB port there as well. So that will definitely be used a lot with our family. I also got some of those LED strip lights. We use these everywhere. We absolutely love them. They're actually in our van, installed in our van, and they're really good. We absolutely love them. They come with a little remote control. You can put these like around your bed, you can put them around your room, and they just make it really nice and cozy. And I love that you can choose like the different colour lights that you want on, etc, etc. This one is a five metre one. So it's a really big one, or quite big. And it was only a few pounds as well. Another thing I picked up was a memory card. So this one is a, I think it was a 64 gig, I can't remember. And it doesn't actually say. Oh no, it's 128 gigabytes, sorry. So I got a 128 gigabyte memory card because as you guys know, we do a lot of vlogging, <laughs> um, a lot of using cameras, a lot of using memory cards and I thought this one would be really cool, really nice to have a spare. And then I also picked up this electronic thermometer. We actually don't have a thermometer and I just feel like it's one of those things or I used to, used to when I used to have one of these ones previously, I used to use it more than I should have done like I was I become like I loved like taking my own temperature and taking the children's temperatures just to see what it was and I felt like um I was just using it too much and then we ended up getting rid of it I can't remember why like one of the house moves or something like that and it ended up not I couldn't find it basically it got lost and then I thought I don't really need to order another one and then there's been so many times since then that I've thought to myself when the children have been ill, I wish I had a thermometer so I could take the temperature. I mean, I've got six children, so you can kind of tell when they've got a temperature and when they haven't. I'm kind of, um, you can kind of tell. Like, I don't need a machine to tell me if they've got a thermometer is what I'm trying to say. But it would be good to know, like, that their temperature was coming down with painkillers, etc, etc. So I thought I'd pick up another one of those. I also got some whiteboard markers. Again, these were only a couple of pounds. Why is the yellow one so small? Oh, it's because the packets popped at the bottom. But we use a lot of markers, pens, all sorts of things like that when we do crafting. So I thought I'd stock up on some of those. Picked up these for Esme and Isla. So it's like, I'm, try I'm trying to show you guys. I picked up a pink one and a blue one. I'll show you the pink one. It basically creates curls without using any type of heat. So you pop it around your head like that. Wrap your hair around it like that. And it creates curls. The girls love, love, love curling their hair. And anything like that that's kind of heatless, that doesn't damage their hair, I am all for. So I thought they'd make some really nice stocking fillers. I also ordered some um, makeup brushes. So let me just open these. I'm not actually opening them. I've got two sets. This one and this one. They come in cute little bags. I'm going to open them and see what they look like. This is a nice soft bag to store them all in. And then, let's have a look what they actually look like. These were just a few. Oh, they're so soft. Oh my goodness, they are so soft. And this is a big set. Like, there's a lot of different brushes in there. As you can see, they're really nice and soft. They're a really nice colour. And for a few pounds... I thought they'd make a really nice stocking filler. There's a good selection of makeup brushes there as well. And then I thought this would make a nice stocking filler for Mila. It's a children's colour organising toy kit. And this was a few pounds. I think it was like three or four pounds. So a really good price. And it comes with all the different colour bowls at the bottom. A whole load of animals that you can sort out. Some tweezers and things like that for fine motor skills. These are fab. I always love these with all of my children where you can chat about animals, what noises they make, sort them into like their colours or their, or sort them into different, the different species of animals and sort them into colours, etc, etc. Oh, can't even find my words. 
etc etc so I thought they'd be a really nice stocking filler for Mila. So Isla actually saw one of these on Amazon a few days ago and she said wow that looks so cool. It's one of these puzzle, little wooden puzzle game sorter organiser thingy my bobby do's and I thought this was really cute. It actually shows you on the back how you can make letters, shapes, numbers using all of the little pieces. You can even make like vehicles and things like that and then it's a puzzle to try and get it all to fit back into this th this um, square. I'm definitely going to take a picture of this before we take it all out because I've done this in the past and then spent way too long trying to get this all fixed back together. Not this one, not this actual game, but just something with the same concept. So I'm definitely going to take a picture before we un unwrap this and take all the pieces out, but I thought that would make a really cute stocking filler. This was like a pound, a really good price. Okay, tons more bobbles. So those are the same ones as the black ones I showed you. Again, they're really super stretchy and these are a 50 piece. But these ones, as you can see, are in pastel colours. I'm taking those away with us. These ones are more, I think this is a bigger set actually. 200 in this one. So 200 small elastic type bobbles. They're not elastic bands, but they are elastic with cotton type bobbles. And they are in pastel colours as well and then is this also 200 another 200 slightly different colours and then I got some of these elastic bands because they're good when Jason Miller request it's usually Jason Isla actually that request um, hairstyles that require these type of small elastic bands so I got some in clear and some in colour and they are a pack of 2000 so 2000 in there and 2000 in there I can't remember the exact price of those and the bobbles, but they were all around one pound. Hair clips, I did actually take one of these out. This came as a pack of three, and I will say that these stuck in my hair, or should I say kept my hair up and tight all day. So I've had these before where they tend to fall out or just not feel like they grip my hair properly. These ones really do grip, so I definitely recommend those. More socks. More socks. More socks. These ones are cute. These have got like little, little peaches on. Look at a little rabbit on the back. These ones are so cute. The girls love having socks and things. I know like socks for Christmas is like socks for Christmas. Like It's like a joke. But my kids actually love having stock socks in their stockings. Some more grippy socks. Two cute little hats. Oh, my legs are aching. Two cute little hats. I'm not sure if this will fit Aurora or Mila. But let me have a look. Oh, that will fit Mila, actually. Oh, so cute! Super duper soft as well. And I also got that in grey. They feel really nice quality. They're really soft. I got some more pens. Isla absolutely loves crafting. And I think at Christmas time, any type of crafty bits for the stockings are really nice. These ones are just some Christmassy type pens. And these ones are roller stamp type pens as you can see on the bottom there. I got two bubble guns, one for Jace and one for Mila. As you guys know, my children just love playing, with, all children, a lot of children, love playing with bubbles. These also come with a little plate on the end, a little bowl. So you put the bubbles in and then put the gun in and you can fire and shoot the bubbles out. So they'll go down really well, I'm absolutely sure. I did also get a few household bits like these adorable plates, little six pack, or is it five? A five pack of heart plates, and they are just so, so cute. Perfect for this time of year when you're having family over, or friends, gatherings, parties, and you just want like a small bowl to put out like nuts or crisps, etc. So I'm sure we'll use those a lot this season. Okay, who remembers these? Echo microphones. I had one of these when it was when I was younger and I thought it was the best thing ever. Probably my mum didn't when I was walking around the house singing into it at the top of my voice. But Esme got one of these in pink. So I got one in green and I thought they'd make a really nice stocking fillers for Jason Mila because they absolutely love singing into microphones as well. And then I got Isla this really cute little Santa Lego set. Um it just looks really cute. She actually asked for some Lego this year for Christmas, so I thought it'd go down really well, and I liked that it was like a little Santa one. It did come in a few different versions, 
as you can see on the back there, a snowman, a Christmas tree, a robin, and is that a reindeer? And a reindeer, but I thought the Santa, good old Santa Claus. This is so random, but I also picked up a small tape measure. Now, <laughs> I'm always looking for tape measures, and Chris has his, obviously, in his um, toolbox. But I wanted one just for myself, that I could just use whenever I wanted, without having to say to Chris, can you get me a tape measure from your toolbox? And I thought this one was really cute. It's small, it's pink, and it will fit nicely in my drawer. Okay, I got some toiletry bags. I actually picked one up in every colour because I thought they were all so cute. Blue, lilac, yellow, like a mint green, and then pink. I always have things, and I never know what things are when I'm at shops, but whenever I get home, I'm like, oh, I wish I had somewhere to put those. Things like bobbles, for example. Bobbles is one of them. Makeup pad, rem makeup remover pads. All sorts of things like that. I always have things and I just don't ever have anywhere to put them. So I thought I'd get some of these. They were like 99p and they're just like a little toiletry bag. And I thought they were the perfect size to just store things into. So I picked one up in every colour and I'll definitely look forward to organising my drawer things <laughs> into those. I'm a little bit excited about this one. So... <laughs> It's actually a baby teether that looks like a remote control and the reason I like this is because it does actually look like a remote control. It's not, it's rubber, um, but it looks like a remote control. Sometimes I find teethers or baby's toys that look like an Xbox remote controller or a phone or keys or remotes are too big and bulky and plasticky and hello Mila and look like it was made for a baby. Sorry guys, I actually liked that this one actually looks like a remote control. Then obviously there's a lot of Christmas things on there. It's December, it's the festive time of year. So I got some really, really cute little gingerbread man decorations. These are actually rubber um, and they feel really good quality. I'm looking forward to using those. And then I picked up some gift bags. I actually have already used a load of these and I can't recommend them enough. I'm thinking about actually maybe even switching to gift bags instead of wrapping future and then reusing them every year. I like that, the, obviously they are made of plastic these ones, but you can keep them and reuse them year after year. So I'm gonna try out a few gifts in these this year. These are a few pound and they're a pack of six. And I thought they were really cute. This next one is what probably I was most excited about. I can't lie. <laughs> And it's cups for Jace and Mila. So I actually ordered four because I wanted one in each design. And I don't know about anyone else, but we seem to go through so blooming many beakers, cups. Mainly because Chris puts them in the dishwasher and ruins them. Um, let me just work out. Oh yeah, it goes down like that. So I got this design for Jace, a little crab. So cute. And I really like these ones with the um, rubber bit here I don't like the ones with plastic I feel like it always worries me like if they were to fall and the big plastic bit was to hurt the mouth but I really like these rubber ones so we got Jace the crab and I also got him the seahorse which is super cute I love the color of this one and then I got Mila this is so sweet the jellyfish <laughs> so cute little jellyfish and then I also got her the whale this one's so pretty the whale as well these were like a couple of pounds each and they feel really good I like that they've got the handle as well so they can carry them around really happy with those and then finally aside from a few bits of makeup that I'll pan the camera over because there's too many little bits to show each one. I got Jace, actually Esme got one of these and I got one. So I'm gonna give one to Jace and we'll give one to Mila. And it's like an egg, super cute and cozy. And they both really like teddies. It's so strange because my older girls weren't really into teddies when they were younger, but Jace and Mila are. So they are going to love these. Look how cute and adorable that is. Oh my gosh. And I love that they'll be able to take the teddy out to play with him and then pop him back in his bed, zip him up and carry him around with them as well. 
And then finally, like I said, I did get a few makeup bits as well. Some little clip-on earring type things, um, a comb, and then a few lip glosses that the girls will absolutely love in their stocking fillers as well. What's this one? Another lipstick. Um, lots of little bits there. And then this little self-care set that I thought was really nice as well. Lots of awesome bits in there. night here we are toasting s'mores on the fire <sighs> but there is one problem we don't have any of the little sticks so I'm having to use a knife I'm sure we'll be fine and obviously I won't be eating the marshmallow off the sharp knife I'm gonna be putting it in the little biscuits <laughs> get me biscuit it's a bit small but it's all good no you don't do it like that you can split it in half it and then you can do that and pull it. Oh, I can't get it on. Why is that bad? You me! No, you didn't. You don't need to put it in half because it's way bigger off the Yum! So we just finished watching the movie. I've just tried out some of my new face products. I don't know, I just... Um, I'm not too sure it's sitting well with my face, to be honest. It was that under eye serum, cream stuff. Uh, it's actually going down a bit now, but yeah, I guess I've just got a bit of sensitive skin around my eyes. Anyway, I saw last night. We're going home in the morning. I don't know why I'm so sad about it. Because we've got such a lovely home and it's, we've got friends coming around for New Year's. I just want to stay in this little bit of tranquility. And do no. Tranquility forever. Do nothing. Nothing as me. Nothing other than not. Movies. Yeah. It's been the best cups of tea. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching our Christmas adventure up here in the beautiful, mystical Scotland. It's been an absolute blast and we've had the best time ever. And what a way to end the new year if you watched yesterday's vlog. I still have no words. <laughs> so I have a million questions, but no words. Um, it's a bit crazy, basically, but yeah, what a way to end the year. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been a mad one. Today, the Christmas adventure begins, and we're almost at. What by the time you're watching this, is it New Year's Eve? No, it's not New Year's Eve. Is it? No. It's New Year's Eve the next day. So thank you all so much for watching our Christmas adventure. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Ooh.